I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now I'd like to welcome our superintendent, Chris Corey. Hello and welcome to the celebration in honoring the Fairfield Sassoon 2020 high school graduates. I am Chris Corey, superintendent, and on behalf of the governing board, I want to express how proud we are of our graduating seniors. This year's pandemic and virus was aimed at no one in particular and everyone at once. This was especially impactful to our high school seniors. Every senior lost their prom, senior sunrise, senior sunset, senior sports season, and their in-person graduation ceremony. Our seniors and their parents had been dreaming about many of these traditions for a long time. Despite all of these disappointments, the pandemic also brought all graduating seniors together. It sparked creativity, demanded resiliency, and promoted togetherness, even though physically separated. These lessons learned throughout your educational journey will only be enhanced by the lessons learned during this pandemic. We hope in the near future that we can again honor you, only this time in person. Until that time, remember that you represent history in the making. You are the record setting class of 2020. High school graduations are a highlight for everyone. Our board members and senior staff like to represent by wearing school colors to the individual graduations. This year, I'll have to wear them all at once. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you for your insight and determination. You are premier. Please welcome Isabel Gonzalez, our student speaker. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculties, and fellow graduates. I would like to start by thanking all the teachers, Ms. Garcia, our school counselor, Principal Kalakowski, Vice Principal Dick Garcia, for giving us the opportunity to finish school during these hard times and for taking the time out of your day for replying to our emails 24-7. I'd like to take the time out of the speech to thank Ms. Mitchell for always giving us your support and giving us your motivation. I want to thank Ms. Garcia for helping us accomplish our goal of getting our high school diploma. I also want to thank the janitors for always keeping the school clean for us. I want to take the I want to thank Ingenuity for always knowing when to crash on this. We graduated. I know this journey wasn't easy. It was an emotional roller coaster. We had our bad days, we had our good days, or we had our in-between days. Or we felt like giving up on our goal. Some days this goal seemed unachievable, but all those doubts, emotional, emotional meltdowns, and managing school stress and personal stress paid off. When I was talking about emotional meltdowns, I was referring to myself. Now we could look back and laugh about it, for some of us, we are the first of our family to get our high school diploma. I know for a fact they're really proud of us. Those who are with us and those who are watching us from above. Those who couldn't make it because they live in a different country or a different state. The adult school brings in different people with different stories. But one thing we have in common is achieving one goal, our high school diploma. With this diploma, some of us have better job opportunities or some of us will be on our way to college. Whatever path you take, always remind yourself that everything is possible. If we're able to achieve one of our milestones, we're able to achieve anything in life. Some of us are excited for the, about the new beginning and some of us are scared of closing this chapter in our lives. If there's no struggle, there's no progress. Keep that in mind next time you feel like giving up. Even if we adjust, 
leaving, living during this pandemic. Something good came out of it. Having the class of 2020. Even if we're in a dark time in the world, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. For some of us, this, gradu this graduation ceremony is giving us opportunity to dress up again. Since the last time we dressed up was since the pandemic started. Some of us are half awake at the moment, or some of us are in our pajamas, but there's no shame in that. But who would have thought our ceremony would be this way? I'd like to close off this speech by quoting Walt Disney. Walt Disney once said, if you could dream it, you could do it. For now on, whatever you decide to do, if we could dream it, we could do it. Once again, I want to congratulate the class of 2020. Hello graduates. What an incredible year we have had and you have persevered through these most difficult times to accomplish a lifelong goal. I am so sorry we are not able to be together, but that cannot detract from the importance of this moment. 2020 graduates, today is your day to celebrate, to share this accomplishment with your family and friends and to take a moment to focus on the next steps in your journey. Remember, we all need people in our lives who raise our standards, remind us of our essential purpose, and challenge us to be the best version of ourselves. Take a moment to think about all of the people who have supported you on this journey. Your family, friends, teachers, employers, colleagues, children. These are the people who have helped to make you great. When you encounter a barrier or obstacle, look to these people to support you in becoming the best version of yourself. I speak for all the staff at the adult school in congratulating you on the hard work you have put in this year. We are excited to hear about all of the great things you will do in the future. Your stories will influence and motivate the next group of students who are, who are embarking on their journey. Thank you for sharing a part of your life with us and know when you need advice or just want to let us know how you're doing, it will be our true pleasure to see you again. Congratulations. And now, our assistant principal, Erin DeGrassi, and I will read our graduates' names. Liliana Aguilar. Marcos Aguilar. Maria Alejo. Isaiah Alvarez. Shannon Luis Anderson. Desiree Blageron. Jordan Beltron. Marlene Beltron. Kamar Bishiers. Keon Carpenter. Francisco Carrasco. Brianna Marie Castro. Ivan Castro Requena. Olivia Chavera Mercado. Karina Clark. Sonny Joseph Cueva. Alejandro Cuevas. Aiden Davenport Adams. Jamia Davis. Danielle DiMartini. Gabriel Escavil. Jesus Gastalum. Isabel Gonzalez. Yesenia Gonzalez. 
Federico Hernandez. Patricia Jacobo Urbina. Dante Jones. James Kirkland. Elijah Kraft. Johanna Lopez Sanchez. Christopher Mabune. Pablo Magana. Christopher Malecki. Alicia Martinez. Salvador Martinez. Nancy Adriana Misa. Angel Morgan. Isara Murillo Villanueva. Elizabeth Nikolai. Josue Perez. Samuel Phillip. Alondra Ponce. Esteban Preciado. Kishan Ragland. Lorena Ramirez. Alexander Ruscone. Tiffany Robbins. Angel Sacedo. Jax Schwarz. Talia Van. Prisciliano Vidrio. Yareli Montserrat Viegas. Denise Diane Mai Vo. Jessica Waldron. Martin Yawaka. Joshua Yang. Hannah Young Willis. Class of 2020, please stand. Superintendent Corey, President Honeychurch, members of the board, distinguished faculty and staff, family and friends. I certify that all of the students standing before you today have met the graduation requirements of the state of California and the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Students, please move your tassels from right to left to indicate that you are now high school graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present you with the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations.